Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday in the octave of Easter. And octave means that uh, the word octave comes from the first part is eight, means eight. So it's the eight days, including Easter Sunday, that we celebrate just as it's Easter. So we are celebrating Easter again today. Um, we welcome you and hope that your Easter celebrations, wherever they were or wherever they were, um, were pleasant. I know that everybody here was missed, but it was really enlightening, um, really warmed my heart to be able to see everybody coming for the ringing of the bells at noon, so thank you for that. Please spend some time with us this morning praying to our risen Savior who has died and has now risen and is able to save us all. Our opening song is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Hymns of praise and let us sing. Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King. Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave. Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather this Easter day, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endowed your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel 
know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ. This, Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were caught to the heart and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promises made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accept this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Thank you, Jeff. May the Lord be on your lips and in your heart that you may proclaim the gospel worthily and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
this experience of Mary, of Magdala, is one that many of us can relate to, for she experiences the death of a very close friend. Some of us have experienced the death of loved ones. My mother just died. Other people have come up and said other relatives of theirs have died. And we come to experience great grief. And we ask the question, how is this person alive within our midst? For Mary experienced Jesus gone from the tomb. Who stole the body? What a ravaging kind of experience or thought that we go to the grave of our loved one and our loved one is gone, not there. And so we ask the question, how do we experience resurrection at this point in our life? It first is a part of our personal relationship with Jesus, that in our prayer life we find Jesus alive, working in the different situations where we find ourselves having prayers answered. We find ourselves encouraged by the community of faith. That was, As we gather at church, we look around and we find other people in our same situation, or they have been there, or as we experience life, we know that they will come to experience the death of a loved one. But it is our faith that gives assurance that Jesus lives, that Jesus is a part of our life, not just in stories or work or playtime, but that Jesus is alive as an experience of hope that calls us to live for the kingdom of heaven. This world in all of its suffering, in all of its challenges will pass away. But Jesus, in saying, go tell the other apostles that I am alive, is the same kind of statement we invite others to come and believe in. Jesus is risen. Jesus dwells in our faith life, in our own person, in our experience of the community Eucharist, and in the gathering of the church as we come to proclaim along the pathway of our lives that Jesus is alive and we seek him in the kingdom of heaven. We offer our lives as well as our intentions and our experiences of life to the Lord as we pray. We pray for all of those who experience the coronavirus, those uh, who become sick, those who have died, those who care for them, those who are family and feel estranged at not being able to be with their loved one. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those in the southern part of our country who are devastated by the tornadoes this past weekend, that they may truly receive the resources to not only restructure their lives, but their homes and their businesses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who experience an awakening of faith at this time, like Mary Magdalene, that they truly may find Christ as their Lord and Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that as we enter into the time of spring, that it truly may be um, a welcoming experience to farmers and to others who rely upon the spring nature, that they may plant and find um, a growth 
of um, their work and harvest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our young people who are not in school, that they may take this time to find other avenues of um, education um, through art, through literature, through science, through mechanics, through whatever avenue they wish to be a part of to uh, grow their educational life and experience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause to add um, our intentions for those who have died, um, especially the people of Prince of Peace Parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious Lord, we extend to you these intentions, but we realize there are so many more that need to be prayed for. So be with us as we journey along and in the challenges of our lives, that we truly may experience you, be strengthened in faith by you. As we seek your kingdom, we ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, and at all times acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At, <coughs> at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The blood of Christ. For those of us who so dearly miss receiving the body and blood of Jesus in the Eucharist, an act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we wish to pray for our seminarian Michael Vance. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And for our vocations to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate, from the Prince of Peace Parish, we pray. Amen. And Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed. blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, Amen. now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph. As you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raised Jesus, the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. Just a couple announcements before we conclude this morning. Um, we are going to have confessions tomorrow morning, right after the 9 o'clock Mass. So at 10 a.m., Father, will stay here. 
And if you did not experience the sacrament of reconciliation during the Lenten season, this is as good a time as any to experience that sacrament. So tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, Father will be here for confessions. I will also tomorrow um, at the 3 o'clock update for the parish, I'll make an uh, announcement about what we're doing for Divine Mercy Sunday here. We do have plans, and uh, I'm hoping you're praying the novena, this nine-day novena, but we also will have a celebration at the end of the nine days on Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, yes, the Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. But the pains which he endured, ah, 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 alleluia, our salvation have procured, ah, 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 alleluia. Now he reigns above as king, ah, 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 alleluia, sinners to redeem and save, ah, 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 alleluia. Yeah.